So can we synthesize alpha dot R D? That would be the obvious answer. Depropinate that aldehyde, 
and we will have the A sodium ion. So the A sodium ions are not stable. Which means you can't have it. You can't make an A sodium ion. You're going to have to mask it somehow.
So the reaction is to take the aldehyde. I'm just going to take acid aldehyde so that I don't have to draw a lot of atoms or the mechanism. I'm going to take two acid aldehydes and we're going to treat it with the endomethylthiazone bromide.
It's an ethanol and solvent, it's an ethanol. With ethanol is a solvent, it's ethanol. The key is that we now have another hydrogen which also has a PKA between 17 and 19, and that's this hydrogen that used to be the aldehyde hydrogen. It was not acidic when it was the aldehyde hydrogen, but now notice that it's adjacent to a pi bond. And not only is it adjacent to a pi bond, it's adjacent to a pi bond that has nitrogen on the other side. So that's basically an allylic system. And you know that hydrogen in allylic positions is more acidic. So we can take that hydrogen off using the same base.
And that regenerates our pathway and liberates our product. So that catalyst then goes right back into step two. So step one, we eprotonate the salt to generate this anion. Step two, we do that thing with the pack. Step three, we protonate the alkoxide. Step four, we deprotonate what used to be the aldehyde hydrogen. Now, not the aldehyde hydrogen anymore. Step five, we have our second nucleus of attack. Step six, we have our proton transfer. That's an intramolecular proton transfer. back into step two. The net reaction, two molecules of aldehyde forming an alpha hydroxy ketone in the presence of the thiazolium salt is bromide to the iodide and base and some salt. Wait, what did we say step seven was? I'm sorry. We're regenerating the catalyst. We're just basically breaking that. Oh, that's what you blood considered the step. Yep, we're reforming this that carbonyl group and taking this anion back out. And this returns to step two. So it is actually catalytic in the thiazolium salt. We don't need a full equivalent of the thiazolium salt. This reaction has a limitation, though, which is that it has to be symmetrical. We're going to use two of the same aldehyde. Because you can't convince this anion to attack one of the aldehydes and then tell this anion it needs to attack the other aldehyde. Right? That wouldn't be easy. If you put two aldehydes in, you're going to get two step twos where both of those aldehydes react, and then you're going to get two different step fives where both of those aldehydes react. So it's a little bit like the cross aldehyde conversation. But in this case, there's no way for us to differentiate between the two different aldehydes. So it's limited to symmetrical aldehyde. That's not true in the biological system, though, because in the enzyme, using the thiazine pyrophosphate as the cofactor for the enzyme, it can be controlled, which aldehyde is which, by where they sit in the active site. Right? So you can have the piece next to the thiazolium salt only pick the aldehyde that you want to be your donor aldehyde, and then you can have the piece over by here only fit the aldehyde that you want to be your receptor aldehyde. But in the solution phase, where you have the thiazolium salt, your donor and your acceptor ally have to be the same. So then the next question is, how can we arrange this to have a different donor ally and acceptor ally? So this mechanism is kind of important and might show up on a quiz. And that mechanism is shown I think they might skip some book on transfer stuff, so but that mechanism is showing in section 23-4. And then there's like a closer look box or a chemistry in action box or something that tells you about timing. And you can check me to make sure I actually remember the structure of writing correctly. I mean, if not, we're just going to offer our own for you. You do not need to memorize the structure of writing. Oh, good. So then the question is, how can we make unsymmetrical alpha hydroxy ketones? And I'd like that to be a separate video. So.